what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A father in Florida is being credited with throttling an attempted kidnapping of his 17-year-old daughter, firing shots at 14 suspects who tried to break into his garage. Now, the investigation revealed that the teens thought that the father was papered up. They thought he had some money, so their plan was to rob him and kidnap his daughter. I don't know what that's about. Rob him, kidnap the daughter. What the father said is that the daughter called him and told him that somebody had blocked the road leading to their house with barrels and a parent attempt to get her to exit the vehicle and walk. Instead, the daughter drove around the barrels. A short time later, the father heard some barking from his dogs he saw his front motion activated lights come on and he heard what sounded like a car door slam. So he retrieved his pistol. He saw the guys trying to break into his garage and he went to popping. The guys scurried off into the woods, acting on a tip from a neighbor. The police caught up with the suspects, made the arrest, charged them with attempted kidnapping and home invasion. And now their ass is about to be up shit creek without a paddle because they probably ain't got the money for the bond. Let me tell you something, man. I really do despise home invaders. You know, your home is supposed to be your castle. It's supposed to be your sanctuary. I mean, just imagine being at home and sitting with your family watching television or eating dinner and intruders just bust into your house at gunpoint, hold you down and do God knows what. You don't have that peace of mind. People used to be able to have a peace of mind. That's gone. Evil is running rampant throughout America. Imagine being in your shower. Imagine taking a shower and somebody busts through your, I mean, just think about what I'm saying. You know the tranquility that comes with taking a shower, you know, like, man, you feel free and robust. You feel that peace. And then somebody is breaking into your house and bust through the door. Hold you at gunpoint, knife point, whatever. I can't stand it, man. I say, in some cities they're already doing this, but they need to increase the penalty for home invaders. It's already serious, but it, they need to get dead serious with it. Home's supposed to be your castle. And I'm gonna tell you something else. A lot of people go on like, well, they're kids, they're just kids. Let me tell you something. Kids kill too. One cannot accurately estimate the intentions or the capabilities of his enemy. When somebody intrudes into your private space, your home, they're an enemy. I don't give a damn how old they are. And you don't know what they have on their mind. You don't know what they're capable of. You don't know what they will do. Therefore, I'm killing everything that don't move. I don't care. I'm killing it. I'm not sitting around asking, trying to ask questions and stuff. Keep in mind, y'all, dude didn't know those were teenagers anyway. They had the farm. They was tall enough to be grown men. You know, they had the, they had the height. 
I'm definitely not going to be like, well, let me, let me see, let me see. Oh, he looked too young. Uh, what about him? Oh, no, he looked, no, nah, I'm killing everything. I don't know why people do that shit anyway, man. A lot of times, oftentimes, when people attempt home invasions and stuff, they they, they walk out empty-handed anyway. A little or nothing. They, they, they normally never get what they're looking for. It's, it's not even worth it. Throw your life away. You get hit with a kidnapping charge. Average kidnapping. Uh, the average kidnapping, I think, uh, sentence is like 15 years. Automatic. Just starting off with 15 years. Then you got a home invasion. Just throwing your damn life away for nothing. Nothing. It don't make any sense, man. And again, you got another teenager being charged with a serious crime. And at least this one is shown in his mugshot. Grinning ear to ear. Like something is really funny. I mean, they really get high off of being seen. But that smile is going to come off his face. I can guarantee you that. That smile will leave. That big grin will leave his face when that judge hit his ass up with that sentence. You got to teach your kids to work for what they want. Leave people's stuff alone. The father did a good thing by protecting his daughter, as any honorable man would. I don't see these dudes as kids. I see them as criminals. Criminals who could have easily killed the man, raped his daughter, and killed the daughter also. What do you think they were going to do to her once they kidnapped her? The father made only one mistake. He didn't kill him. I know I would have. No more talk. What the talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.